Hey, how's it going? It's Pillow here. Today, I want to talk to you guys about the violent protest that's going on in Hong Kong right now regarding the anti-extradition bill uh, that was proposed. So thousands and thousands of people are on the streets every day uh, and of course the government is trying to uh, put down the unrest by sending out the police force. Right? Protesters are clashing with the riot police on the streets. They're getting hurt, they're getting bloodied. As a matter of fact, five people have already taken their own lives in demonstration of the protest, which is ridiculous. So, you know, this other day, I went online and I saw this video. It really, really piqued my interest. And I thought it was just super funny. Um, I like this guy a lot. So I wanted to share this video with you guys. Let's take a look. Oh, by the way, it's actually not in English. But don't worry, I did the subtitles for you guys. <laughs> Holy shit, he actually got beat up at the end of the video. I actually didn't see that before. Oh my god, to my surprise. I actually thought he was really funny when I first watched the video. And also, I think it takes a tremendous amount of courage to do what he did. To actually go in front of people like that and ask to get beat up. Oh my god. But that's how you get famous though. I'm pretty sure... This guy's famous now. <laughs> Hi, my name is Bob. Oh yeah? Come beat me up! Come beat me up! You useless garbages! Huh? You useless youth! Come beat me up! I'm King Kong! King Kong ain't got nothing on me! Yeah! Come over and beat me up! Oh yeah? I'm coming right now! Fuck you! I'm coming! What? What's that? 
I can't hear you. I can't hear you. What's that? Huh. You just win till I have a thousand subscribers. Then I'll come back for you. So yeah guys, I really love this guy. I love what he did and his courage to go in front of so many people and challenge them to beat him up and he finally got what he wished for. I mean honestly it looks like he's trying to eat at a restaurant or one of those Hong Kong cafes and he just got ambushed by a bunch of people right and judging by the way how they are dressed and also the tattoo on one of the guys back it seems like they might be local gangsters and he definitely got a good beating out of him so I would not recommend anybody acting like this guy going in front of everybody and challenging everybody to beat him up like that <laughs> Holy moly, I am just glad that he came out to be alright. It looks like there was three or four guys that was on him, including one of the guy was actually trying to um, press him down, I guess, get him onto the floor so the other guys can get on him. Um, you know, look at that <laughs> huge bandage on his head. Um, at, at least, you know, he's able to talk, he seems to be fine. There's no long-term damage that's done to him. So that's all that matters and I hope he probably you know learn his lesson and not to do something like this again because it's definitely very painful. Urgh, look at me, I'm a gangster, I'm a gangster, I'm the baddest gangster there is. Look what I can do. Look at that dance, can you guys do that? That's right, I didn't think so. Hey. What are you doing? I wanna be a gangster too! Look at me! I can be a gangster! I can do whatever I want! Anything that I wanna do, I can do it! Look at this piece of paper! Woo! Yeah! Can I be a gangster now? Can I join your gang? Uh, that's not the kind of gangster that we want. A piece of paper? Are you kidding me? We don't want this kind of gangster. This is some weak shit gangster. Go home. Go back to your mom. Get out of here. Uh, if you be a gangster, you'd be the weakest gangster out there. No, that's not true. Check this out. I'm very strong. Look, I'm very loud too. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Sup? Scared now? Huh? Can I join you now? I'm a true gangster. Uh, was that supposed to be a scream? Um, I mean that was weird, really, really weird. But that doesn't make you a gangster just because you're weird. I'll show you guys gangster right here. Check out the tattoo I just got with my white beater. Mm. Wait, hold up, just give me a minute. Huh. I'm a gangster now. Check out the tattoo on my face. Even the popo can recognize me. They better recognize and watch out when they see me. Uh, dude, we just saw you putting that on your face. And why did you have to take off your shirt? Huh. Show off. Uh, no, man, that's straight up embarrassing. Wipe that fake tattoo off your face, man. Come back when you're 14. Uh, fine. Check this out. Costco card. I go to Costco with my mom every Sunday, and I never miss a single Sunday before. I'm such a good kid. That makes me gangster. When was the last time you went to Costco with your mother? Hey, fine, 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 fine. You win. On one condition. Mm hmm What is it? Don't do it! And the one condition is, if I can get a thousand subscribers, then you get to be a real gangster. Alright? See ya!